So who hasn't done this? You are watching something on your laptop and think, you know what? I want to watch it on my big screen TV. Obviously mine's not big screen, it's average, but anyways. So you pretty much think, okay, I just need to connect this HDMI cable into my laptop to my TV. And all I should do is be able to turn it on and switch it to HDMI. So it is connecting. Here's channel three, Dr. Phil, crazy guy. Okay. Change it to HDMI. And so you would think it should just, uh, I have the visual of what's over here, but no sound. And it's up all the way, right? I only get sound from here. And I've heard about people saying unplug and replug the HDMI cable. So I'm plugging, replugging. Still no sound over here. I've heard, oh, well, you just need to go to your start menu, control panel, and go to your sound and enable your HDMI. Uh, well, you know what? It is enabled. Click OK, OK, and it doesn't work. And I don't want to go through and have to disable my speakers. I tried it before and did not work well. I end up having like no sound, so this is what I do. Let's just close it out. All right, close out Internet Explorer and you're going to restart. Leave your TV on. Now, if let's say you're getting home from work and your TV's off, your computer is off, then you just plug your HDMI cable in, turn your TV on, and then turn on your laptop. So you'll very shortly, once my computer reboots, will hear music of it turning on coming on my TV. Starting Windows. Okay. Yes. Please wait. Processing. My TV so all you need to do is now log into your laptop go to the site that you want to watch a video and you are all ready to go I'm not gonna go through this because it takes a long time for me to put my sign on in and set my uh, background so this is where I will stop but that's what you need to do have your TV on HDMI and have it plugged in to your computer Turn on your TV, then your computer, or if your computer is on, TV is also on, not getting sound, reboot your computer, and it will work. Eh.